Why do we test grease interceptors? Shear tests each Great Basin grease interceptor to the ASME A112.14.3, the gold standard for testing and certifying grease interceptors. Testing allows us to determine a unit's maximum grease capacity upon point of failure at a pre-specified flow rate in gallons per minute. The goal is to achieve optimal performance by reaching a high maximum capacity at the chosen flow rate. Each unit is rated by flow in gallons per minute. While the first grease interceptor was patented in 1883, it wasn't until the 1940s when the Plumbing and Drainage Institute established the first grease interceptor standard with PDI G101. It determined the minimum grease storage at a known flow rate and established a standard design with an external flow control. Starting in 1994, ASME worked with PDI to develop the A112.14.3 standard to allow an alternative testing method and introduce the concept of hydromechanical grease interceptors. This standard allows for innovation in design with the different testing methods and also is designed to test to failure or maximum grease storage capacity and the corresponding efficiencies at a known flow rate. Hydromechanical grease interceptors are tested and certified to a type of flow control set by the ASME standard. Type A, external flow control with air intake directly connected, this is the most common. Type B, external flow control without air intake directly connected, which is unused. Type C, without external flow control directly connected or internal flow control. And type D, without external flow control indirectly connected or with no flow control installed. Shear was the first to design grease interceptors certified to both Type C and Type D. When Shear built its new headquarters in 2020, at the top of our construction list was a new state-of-the-art ASME test lab. Having this infrastructure in-house allows us to constantly test and learn about our products, not only when we're being certified, but throughout the entire product development and refinement process. We test all of our grease interceptors to ASME A112.14.3, both type C and type D. This standard was developed to test grease interceptors to determine maximum grease capacity at a known flow rate. Testing starts at the top of the rig. Uh, at the top of the rig is where we introduce both hot water and melted lard into the system. We have to really ensure on the top side that we measure out the water and the grease to the exact amounts and that the temperatures are consistent. Consistency is absolutely the key and they time each run in order to ensure that the flow rate is correct per each increment. The test itself is composed of a series of drops that introduce grease and water at 150 to 160 degrees down a series of pipes down into the interceptor and we do that at a known flow rate. For each drop we use one pound of lard for every five GPM and two gallons of water for every one GPM. So for example, on this latest test we're doing in the GB1500 at 100 GPM, each test drop is 200 gallons of water and 20 pounds of lard. The GB1500 is the largest grease interceptor to ever be certified to this standard. So on the bottom of the test rig, that's actually where we determine the efficiency of the unit. So the water and the grease flows through the interceptor, the interceptor catches any and all grease that it can, and then the water discharges into a skim tank. The skimmer on the bottom skims any and all grease off of the top of that skim tank and then separates it using a separatory funnel. We determine then how much weight of grease went through in pounds, and then that gives us our efficiency. Uh, so for example, on a 100 GPM run, if you're adding 20 pounds of lard, and on the bottom you skim off one pound of lard, that means the grease interceptor caught 19 pounds of lard. And if you take 19 divided by 20, the unit is 95% efficient. We do this test over and over and over until the unit reaches a capacity where the efficiencies start to fail. The test itself fails when the average efficiency drops below 90% or two increments drop below 80% or you have a single increment below 75% efficiency. What the test ultimately gives us is at the end of the test, we have a full test report that outlines all the increments from every single run, and it gives us a maximum capacity of the grease interceptor at a known flow rate, and it also gives us an average efficiency of the interceptor up until that point. Testing is at the heart of right-sizing grease interceptors. It ensures that a restaurant gets the most efficient, right-sized product to meet their needs. In 2012, 
Shear authored the grease production sizing method to correctly size grease interceptors using both flow rate and grease production. Grease production sizing method calculates how much grease a restaurant is likely to produce. This ensures the grease interceptor has enough capacity to allow for a realistic and affordable pump out. In 2016, grease production sizing method was published in the ASPE Design Handbook. It has been adopted by several municipalities, has been used to size more than 100,000 grease interceptors, and powers our Grease Monkey sizing software. Users fill in their specific project information and Grease Monkey generates a recommended grease interceptor along with a plans ready PDF kickout. With Grease Monkey's pre approval service, every project can be reviewed by a sizing expert and discussed with the jurisdiction all for free. A properly sized grease interceptor will serve a restaurant and its community for a lifetime. A unit that is certified to the ASME standard ensures that the owner knows exactly how much grease it will hold and for how long. Shear is committed to continual product improvements and testing with our in-house test lab.